Welcome back, comrades. Brave here, and in today's video, we're taking our server to the next level by introducing a massive drug system. And when I say massive, I mean it. This system features nearly 150 items and five unique drugs specifically tailored for your server. This isn't just about adding new items. We're infusing your gameplay with a multitude of grinding activities designed to enhance the server's depth and engagement. Whether you're a seasoned player looking for new challenges or a newcomer eager to dive into the action, this update has something for everyone. So gear up and get ready to explore the ins and outs of our extensive drug system, designed to keep you engaged and constantly on the move. Stay tuned as we delve into the details and show you everything you need to know to get started. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Upon reaching the page, proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. The subsequent step requires a minor adjustment. Simply eliminate the word main from the folder name to guarantee a seamless setup process. Once you've renamed the folder accordingly, the next step is to integrate the key components that will breathe life into the script. Head over to the GitHub README file, where you'll discover a comprehensive list of items essential for the script's functionality. Copy these items, then navigate to your QB core slash shared slash items directory. It's recommended to create a subheading that resonates with your organizational preferences and paste the items list under this section. Following that, revisit the script folder and locate the images directory. This step is critical. Ensure you copy all the images from this directory and transfer them to the QB inventory slash HTML slash images directory on your server. This action is imperative for ensuring that all new items introduced by the script are properly visualized within the game's inventory system, significantly enhancing the player's interaction and engagement with these items. Now, the first step in integrating this massive drug system into your server is to remove the default folder of QB drugs. This ensures that there are no conflicts or redundancies with the new system we're about to implement. After you've taken care of that, head back to the GitHub page. We're going to momentarily skip step four and save it for later. The immediate task now is to make a crucial change to the QB radial configuration. Specifically, you need to replace the event references from QB drugs to MD drugs. This step is important because it ensures that the radial menu on your server correctly triggers the new drug-related events from the updated system, rather than calling upon the old, now-deleted QB drugs events. Following the previous step, we're going to continue with a similar process. Navigate to the QB admin menu slash server slash main directory. In this location, you will replace the relevant sections with MD Drugs content from GitHub, specifically targeting the dealer section. This update ensures that the administration menu accurately reflects and manages the new drug system's dealer functionalities. After completing this update, return to the script folder and open the client folder. Here, we're going to implement a critical feature for our drug delivery methods. We plan to add a police alert for each of the four different drug delivery methods to enhance the realism and interactivity of law enforcement within the game. Since I'm currently using PS Dispatch, I will utilize its export functionality for this purpose. Please pay close attention to the video as I guide you through the correct placement of the export code. This step is crucial for ensuring that the police dispatch system is seamlessly integrated with the new drug delivery methods, providing a dynamic and interactive experience for both criminals and law enforcement players on the server. By following these instructions carefully, you'll be able to enhance the engagement and immersion of your server's drug-related activities.
Once you have successfully implemented the dispatch exports for the police alerts associated with the drug delivery methods, the next step involves updating the QB shop's configuration to include new items that will be part of the drug system. To do this, open the QB shop's config Lua file. This is where you'll be configuring the items available in the various shops within your server. Next, head back to the GitHub page where the new drug system is hosted. Look for the section that lists the item codes for the new products related to the drug system. Carefully copy these item codes from GitHub and paste them into the products section of your QB shops slash config.lua file. This process will ensure that the new drug-related items are correctly integrated into the shops on your server, making them available for players to purchase as part of their in-game activities. For the latest RP emotes, it seems they already include all the essential emotes required for the script, so we can proceed without making changes there. Next, when you access the QB Small Resources configuration file, make sure to take a moment to scroll down until you find the section dedicated to teleports, specifically those leading to drug-related locations. Since the new drug system scripts include updated coordinates, cords, for these locations, you have the option to comment out the existing teleport entries related to the drug places in the QB Small Resources config. Navigate to the script folder in your server directory and access the shared folder. Within this folder, find the rewritten QB drug script to adjust the minimum and maximum sell prices for drugs according to your server's economy. Then, proceed to the config file of the rewritten QB drug script to update settings related to the target system, fuel system, and ensure compatibility with your server's versions of the QB core and inventory systems, aligning everything with your server preferences. Make sure to check out Zap Hosting, renowned as the top hosting provider for your server needs. They offer a wide variety of products that can be customized to suit your preferences. Don't forget to use my redeem code at checkout to receive a massive 20% discount. You can find the code in the video description. Additionally, there's more exciting news. If we surpass 100 members using Zap through our link, I will host a giveaway for a lifetime Zap server. This is a fantastic opportunity for our community, so make sure not to miss out. Let's dive into how the script and drug system operate, starting with cocaine production. To begin, you need to collect coca plants from designated locations, which are specified in the config file. Once you've gathered the plants, the next step is to process them into powder. After obtaining coca powder, you'll need baking soda, available for purchase in shops. The process for cutting the coca powder is detailed in the client cocaine file. Mixing the baking soda with the coca powder is the next step in the production process. Ensure you have empty weed bags on hand to package the cocaine once it's ready.
With the drug prepared, it's time to sell it to the public. Head to a public area and initiate corner selling through the radial menu. Be cautious, as there's a risk of people attempting to steal the drugs from you. After a sale is completed, a notification is sent to the police with a general location highlighting the importance of selling with your gang members for protection. Additionally, you have the option to create crack cocaine at another location, requiring only the cocaine powder. This variant, along with the original cocaine product, can be sold to real players in the city. These drugs offer benefits such as increased speed, quicker breath recovery, and enhanced running capabilities, adding another layer of depth to the game's realism and player interaction. As mentioned earlier, this script is quite extensive, so it wasn't possible to cover every aspect of drug usage in this single video. However, don't worry, as there will be a part two. In the upcoming video, we'll delve into the usage of all the drugs and how to customize the drug script specifically for the Cayo Perico map, further enhancing the immersive experience for players. A huge shout out and thanks go to Mustache Dom for generously releasing this script to the community for free. Acts of kindness like this truly make the community thrive and grow stronger. As a token of appreciation and to support the creators who contribute so much to our gaming experiences, I've decided to forego sharing my usual Ko-Fi link. Instead, I've included Mustache Dom's Ko-Fi account and Discord in the video description. Please consider buying him a coffee to show your appreciation for his hard work and dedication to providing great content for all of us to enjoy. Also, Ensure you join his Discord channel if you're seeking further support or wish to engage more with his community. Link is provided in the description. Thank you for watching today's guide on integrating and utilizing the massive drug script in your 5M server. Remember, this is just the beginning, and there's much more to come, including a deep dive into customizing the drug script for the Cayo Perico map in Part 2. Don't miss out on this exciting continuation. Make sure you're subscribed have notifications turned on, and are a part of our Discord community for the latest updates and support. Until then, keep experimenting, enjoy the process, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and happy gaming. I'm thrilled to announce that our Discord server, Coden, has surpassed 950 plus active members and is rapidly approaching the 1,000 member milestone. A heartfelt thank you to everyone. I encourage you to join our vibrant community of 5M developers which offers numerous benefits. Our dedicated staff manage support tickets efficiently, and all my video content, complete with download links, is first released in our Discord, accompanied by a notification system. Additionally, members can share free original scripts for community use. We also feature dedicated channels for general discussions, QB Core, and ESX support. Our aim is to provide comprehensive, free support and assist everyone in the community. Join us today and make a difference. Much love from the Coden team.